Hi. Yep. Good morning. Good morning. My name is Shakira Ali, and I'm here in, from Mercer County. Um, full disclosure, I am. Um, I did not vote for you, and I changed from an R to a uh, from an R to a D in 2008. Um, and You're I. You're not the only one. Uh, yeah, I, I understand that, and um, and I tell you, I am shocked, shocked that I actually agree with you on some of your your stance on education when, when it comes to the question of investing in our children. You talked about business. Um, I have an economics background, and I, am, I understand investment, I think. And so to that end, given, it, with all due respect, your, your role as chief executive of this state, I reject your unwillingness to reconsider the tunnel because it is an investment. You noted that we are the highest uh, tax, uh, the third highest tax paying state in the- No, in highest. The high, okay, highest tax paying state in the nation? No problem. The, the point is that, that this region generates a substantial contribution to the national economy. It's not, yes, we do pay, and you, gener you benefit from the pay. You benefit from it. Yep. The, all right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, guys, to, I'm not listen, going to answer listen, you. She's, I want the governor to address you, you, this sure, you, of investment. Okay, well, here we go. The theory. I agree with you that in government money spent to invest in infrastructure is some of the best government spending we can do because only government can do it. Private industry doesn't go out and invest in infrastructure in general that can be used by the masses, can be used by anyone and everyone. Buy a ticket, get on a train. Get in your car, get on the entrance ramp, get on a highway. Go to a river, cross a bridge, or go in a tunnel. So I agree with you on that. Here's the problem. The problem is 100 years ago, they hadn't gone through the decades of fiscal mismanagement that we had gone through. The problem is that I have to certify to the federal government that I have the money to pay for any overages that happen, and I don't have it. I don't have it. You might think that going $5 billion more into debt and having to pay the debt service for that, when I have not identified any fund or any stream of money to be able to do it, might be okay. But then what you'd have to sit down and do is say, okay, well, what are we cutting then to pay for that? What are we cutting to pay for the debt service on that? Which programs are we eliminating to be able to do that? Because since we are the highest taxed people in America, I'm not raising taxes on the highest taxed people in America. And as to your last point about us benefiting from federal taxes that we pay, New Jersey is 50th, dead last, in the return on tax dollars that we get from Washington, D.C., 50th. Now, the split of this cost is 70-30 between the state and the federal. 20-80 in Florida, 70-30 in New Jersey. So I'm not doing it. I am not doing it when my taxpayers have to pay 70% of the cost of this project and only 30% federal. And down in Florida, the federal government is paying 80%. Now, I don't know why that is. The president and his administration will have to explain why it is that they think it's important to spend 80% on a project in Florida and only 30% in New Jersey. I don't know why it would be, but all I know is those are the facts and those are the numbers. And so you can be upset about the fact that I'm unwilling to write a blank check for people to allow them to spend the people of New Jersey's money however they want, especially when it's disproportionate disproportionate to what the federal government's doing in other places in America, with New Jersey getting the short end of the stick again for the federal government, and I'm not having the taxpayers of the state of New Jersey pick up that tab. I'm not doing it. Elections have consequences. And, you know, this is the philosophy I espoused in the, in the election. And in, and in three years, Everyone's going to have the opportunity to judge me up or down. 